Crushing heresy is hard work. I have worked up a massive hunger. Wherever shall I go to satisfy my space marine-sized appetite? Well, my battle brother and the God Emperor, I know just the place. When you need to crush your space marine-sized hunger, there's only one place to go. Primark Pizza can satisfy an appetite that moves power armor across the battlefield. We use ingredients that will make sure to fill you up. Just don't ask where they came from. We'll make sure that you get the protein, sugars, and carbohydrates you need to keep crushing heresy. No other food on the market comes close to satisfying the way we do at Primark Pizza. Not available on all planets and no delivery. Hello everyone, this is Halzakar of the Black Pants Legion, and welcome to WBPL76. Welcome to Hanging with Halzakar, your end of the week midday stream. Thank you everybody for being here. At the moment, I look over to chat, I see Master Mayhem, I see Wilf, I see Mercury Alpha, I see Goat's Mayor. Thank you guys for being here and being in chat with us. It's time for us. Hello, Thunderclap Sasquatch. Thank you for being here too. It's time for us to get back to our family roots. The nephew of Digging Bear, Hal's Diggington. Hello, dogs, cats. Thank you for being here as well. We are getting ready to go back into Shadows Over Loathing. Let's see what we can find. All right, so this was the Monster Shack. When last we were at the Monster Shack... Oh, yes, we have the Swamp Gaius, so... Uh, right. Okay. Forgot about the Swamp Gaius. Um, let's look at our inventory, because we have a Monster Club Sash. We've got Muscle and Mysticality on it right now, and an additional item per round. That's pretty good. Um, let me see. N no, that's not what we were looking for there. What were we... Okay, he wanted the feather. Did you get that on there? Can't get anything right now. What about you? What did you want? Oh, she wanted us to meet the fly man and bring back a chest hair. Yes, yes, the VODs are on YouTube. If someone would uh, go ahead and plug the YouTube here real quick, just the exclamation YouTube in the chat, that would be great. Um, I'm glad you're here too, Goat's Mayor. Let's see. Did you meet the Flyman? Did you get, um... Yeah, I got it. Here. Oh, thank you so much. I'm gonna put it in a little silver locket and treasure it forever. What's he like? Was his experiment a success? I have got to go. The kid takes your sash, pins another badge on it, and hands it back to you. The Monster Club sash has 
ma muscle, mysticality, and moxie on it. And I can use an additional combat item per round. That's pretty good. So I still need to find for her the smell of the wisp. I think I found his already. Oh yeah, we got him the fingernail. And we got the moss stuff for him. Let's see. Mechanical contraption. Uh, oh yeah, we're trying to get the Chupa Naraha. Chupa Naranha. It's a slippery critter. I don't know if it's actually slippery or not. And there is Ket. Little sign on the table says Boris only. This cat had better be Boris or there's going to be trouble. Hello, Grimos. Uh, does it upgrade anything that doesn't begin with an M? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, the, the fingernail I ripped off of an ape's hands that had big human hands. That's that's something that happened. Um, but let's look at the to-do list. We still got to find Charles. And we're still doing the radios. Floyd at Fish and Chips wants barbecue sauce. We went to smell the wisp. So find the Chupa Naranja's lair in the Big Moist. And Pepperidge Dolphin wants you to receive 11 padlocks. And I've only found 10. And paint three dirty fences. Okay. So, I guess we're gonna go hunting. Wait, did I decipher that already? No skeptics. It says these kids are alright. Yeah, the hobo code. Grimosh, you are having a brunch of shepherd's pie. Well, that sounds marvelous. Yes, that's, that's, a, that's a fair question, Mayhem. It's sourced from locally grown shepherd. Well, let's go down to the frog bog. I haven't been there yet. You're browsing your way through the swamp. Take a sniff. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. That's the smell of the wisp. Okay, so what happens is the gatormen pop up. I tried to uh, talk them down last time, and they ain't having it, so I gotta fight. And there's the smell of the wisp. It has 13 hit points. 28, 38, what do you got? 28. Well, let's go ahead and distribute some damage. That's good, Molly. Oh, he's doing the power-up thing. Not a bad Godzilla roar. Okay, so we're gonna start by doing the silt and splatter. We're gonna get some AoE damage out there. What were you going to do? You were going to hurt Molly. You are going to eat a mushroom. You were going to hurt Molly. And you are weak to hot damage, but you're immune. Okay, he intends to attack me. So we're going to do splatter. You know what? No, we're going to start by summoning an elemental. Cheeses of the cosmos, obey me! Let me see. Ignite, put five opponents on fire with the Fondue Deluge. So we'll get the on fire going for some dots. Be cleansed by flame, hail Zorg! Fire, fire, fire. Now we'll do the Stilton Splatter. That's a solid fart from Space Station 13. <laughs> Zim Zam Ricotta! Mm, do it again. Alright, so I'm going to smack this guy with my cold damage bleeding on fire ice cream scoop. And that should... He's got 9. That's going to take him out. He's got 24. It would not take him out. He's got 16. That would take him out. But that's more damage that he would be doing to Molly, so we're going to do that. There you go, man. Shit. Oh, oh, we, we smoked the, the smell of the wisp. Oh, that is... That is yuck. Thank you, dude, for that puke. Molly, more gun! That took out my... My elemental didn't even get to do anything. Molly! Alright, hidden mosquito. Do your thing. Gross, thank you. You have eight, you have ten. If if you're just gonna buff everybody, I'm gonna take him out first. 
Down you go. Whack. I used this to serve mashed potatoes in schools. And he's down. Alright. Let's see what we got. Thank you. Yuck. Disgusting. Thank you. I got Stinky Esther. Okay. Swamp Mushroom. The Swamp Mushroom does not appear in many mycology texts because mycologists famously refuse to get their shoes wet. And a nasty pastry. You wouldn't feed this to a dog, though you would throw it at a dog if the dog was a threat. I got the clump of what's left of the smell of the wisp to go back to the clubhouse. That's cool. No, no, this was school cafeteria mashed potatoes. These were not good. Oh, look at all the frogs. Hey. The frogs are talking. I will speak to the frogs. You clear your throat. There is a frog in it. <laughs> no, you don't use that joke talking to the frogs. Hello, frogs! Humans, not humans, human, ribbit. Humans, ribbit, 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 or frogs. Um, yeah, can I, can we? Frogs are not humans, yes, I know that. Are you saying you're humans, not frogs? Right, yes. Oh my gosh, these people have been turned into frogs. They're people that got turned into frogs. After a few seconds, you just think about what it would be like to be trapped in a frog's body. After a few seconds, you stop thinking about it. Because you don't like thinking about things that fill you with harrowing existential angst. Oh, we need a princess stat. <laughs> Alright, how did this happen? Ancient statue. God, quarry. Statue. Ancient. Something about the quarry. Struggle to make sense of the cacophony. Could you stop talking except for one frog? Mind, mind, all, all, mind. Single, single, mind, all, single, mind, here. Oh, it's one mind amongst all of them. They share a single mind. That's incredible. That changes. You can't think of any significant consequences of what you've learned. You try to remember the last time you interacted with a specific frog as an individual. It was biology class. Let's not bring that up. Yeah, hello, dragon. Thank you for being here. All right, what, how can I help you guys? One of the larger frogs hops up to you and coughs loudly. A shiny green object flies out of its mouth and sinks into the water. I better grab that. You roll up your sleeve and plunge your hand into the nasty water. You find a hard object which turned out to be shiny. It's a gleaming emerald. The most beautiful thing a frog has ever barfed at you. So what should I do with this? A second frog approaches and belches up a soggy piece of paper. You decide to look at it instead of touching it with your hand. It appears to be a shipping label from a nearby, nearby quarry. The Haim Quarry. Yes, how's it kit? Hello, Das Gruben! Uh, and there's Diggs. Happy Diggs Day. How long is my segment run? Hour or two? That would be correct, Dragon. No. Uh, hour... Maybe up to two, depending on how my voice holds out. All right, we've got a quarry. All good, good, careful, good, good, careful, good, good, careful, careful, good. All right, let's go to the quarry, because this is a lot of ribbits. A spot of color in the drab swamp catches your eye, and you find a pile of weathered orange husks from in front of a shallow cave. This must be the lair of the Chupa Naharanja. Fortunately, it's not home right now. Or maybe, since you aren't an orange, it wouldn't be dangerous anyway. That almost certainly isn't true. Well, I'll set my trap. You set your trap and hide behind a bush and wait for your prey. After a while, you start to get bored. And remember that people who hunt with traps don't typically wait for their prey to show up. They leave and come back later. That's kind of the point of animal traps. Yeah, I'll come back later. That's fine. I'll go to the quarry. Oh, that poor dude. Look at the dude. This guy seems a bit, uh... Hi, er, might seem a strange question, but you know anything about the curse? Er, your attitude says no, but your everything else says yes. There's a note on the door. Drive efficiently. Excess gas use will be deducted from your paycheck. Management. Okay. I don't know if that's a block or a stump. The bunk is messed up. Oh my gosh, his throat swells out. This guy either thinks he's a frog or is a solver frog trapped in a guy 
or a really good method actor re rehearsing for Toad of Toad Hall. Excuse me, Ribbit. Have you seen any cursed frog idols around? He sticks out his tongue as a fly pass and seems confused by its length. Okay, so they swap the places. He's doing the same thing. Okay, that's weird. Found frogs in human form. Yes, this is where. Let's go in the foreman's office. Oh, the foreman with his jaunty mustache. The remains of a fancy meal with fancy condiments. Hi. Nice suit. You look like a fancy guy. I guess you won the frog lottery, huh? Books. Your, it's a book. Your assumption was correct. It's a bookshelf full of books. All the books on management with titles like Shaking the Invisible Hand, You Deserve More, and How to Get Blood Out of the Turnips You Hired. Awesome. Personnel files on everyone who's ever worked in the quarry. You give them a quick riffle through. They tend to be thin. People who were hired and then quit real fast. There's only a handful of current records and they aren't that interesting. The hat wreck is dressed like a cowboy. I'll take the hat for the intimidating Stetson. You and the hat wreck's childish game. That gives me muscle and moxie. When you see a guy wearing a hat like this, you think to yourself, this guy has a good sense of style and probably about to punch me for no reason. Or he's Raylan Gibbons. There's, you think there's a safe behind the picture of the safe, Wilf? You might be right. Alright, let's see. Let's dig through the foreman's desk. You got the key to the mess hall and Bess. Deals your moxie plus five in physical damage. That's... You find a key labeled mess and a gun labeled Bess in two different drawers. There's some papers and stuff, but none of it seems significant. Well, okay. A painting of a safe. Is this meant to be reverse psychology? Look behind it. You push it up and find a safe. But it's a key type safe and you don't have a key. Not that a combination lock would have been better, but you could have twiddled the dial and hope you got lucky. Hmm. Alright, mess hall. Let's unlock it. Leave the key on the windowsill. It's, as advertised, it's a mess. <laughs> From the looks of the crust on these dishes, the food here wasn't very good even before it spoiled. The table is swarming with flies. The range doesn't even have a gas line connected. I guess you could warm something to room temperature. <laughs> <laughs> looks like these people got so hungry they started eating the cabinet doors. It's been the last drawer. I got a fuse and a match. Okay. Cool. Not a whole lot to do in here. There'd be in the bunk. All the oil in the lamp has dried up. This chair has been converted into an uncomfortable bed. Makes sense. There's only one bed, so the S on bunks must have been a typo. Some cruel soul turned this radio to stack and walked away. Let's use Rufus's gadget. You tune the radio to WGCR, hold Rufus' gadget up, the thing clicks a few times, and the needle goes to two. You restore the radio the way you found it, making your mom proud. Presumably these lockers are where employees kept their personal possessions. Well, let's just rifle through them, because they're not here. That frog lady's watching and seems agitated. Better leave her alone. Um, could you tell me some way to communicate with you about, some, about a curse? Well, don't do that thing with your neck, please. Please don't. Oh, yes. So, um, if anybody is having Discord weirdness, if any. Oh. Thought I heard something. Not through my headphones. If anybody's having Discord weirdness, um, so that comes from Cloudflare, who is trying to protect the Discord servers from weirdness. Um,. I reset my router and got a new IP and that cleared it up. And mobile Discord does still work because it doesn't go through the same way. So I was able to reset my router and take care of the problem. Uh, it's Dragon, it's been something that happened to a, a lot of people. The, um, the Discord app subreddit, the entire front page is filled with people posting the screenshot of the exact same thing because nobody looked. She won't let me go through all that. Has he got anything to talk to me about? No, nothing. Yes. Oh, it just came back. Okay. That's good. Hi! If you were frog trapped in a man frog trapped in a man's body, would you have any way to answer I could understand? I guess I don't know what I was expecting. Okay. Well, there's a K. Oh, look at that! Hey, don't touch that. Oh, oh! 
I'm a human man, not a frog after all. I have reason to believe you're a frog in a man's body somehow. Well, it's my body now, and I'm keeping it. I don't have to have any dry skin leg walkers coming in here. And... Oh, holy hop, you've got the missing eye. The big emerald? Yeah, I was noticing it. it looked an awful lot like the other one. I absolutely need you to step away from the statue right hopping now. Are they having trouble with the lava lamps? <laughs> yeah, dragon, that was... I got up this morning, and, um... I was checking my stuff whenever I was starting my day, and it was... I got the same thing. It just happened, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go hunting for... for a reason. Okay, you don't want me to fix it? It looks important. It's very important! It's the ancient idol of, a, of the frog god. When humans blasphemed against it by removing the eye, this particular human right here, I might add, they were cursed with the great one, great croaking one's righteous fury. So that's why all the people here and the frogs in the bog nearby. Yep, it's the old Freaky Friday routine. I don't know what that means. Forget about it. The point is, humans did the crime, so now it's the frog's time to shine. And if I put the eye back, it undoes the curse. Oh, hop, I shouldn't have told you about that. that. Those frogs, uh, people, really want their bodies back. Well, so hop and what? Hop them. Jeez, dude. Look, take your inherent pro-human bias into account and consider the justice of the situation, okay? These people came rolling in here with their machines and stuff and tear up our land and spill oil and gasoline everywhere. Then they find the ancient religious icon. The first thing they do is try to loot it. These aren't good people, and they got what was coming to them. All right, what do you want me to do? I tell you what, take the other out of the statue. I don't want to be a frog. Don't worry about it. It won't curse you. What it'll do is make the original curse permanent. No takebacks. No do-overs. That's justice, Tadpole. Tell you what, I'll sweeten the deal. You can keep the emeralds. Make a necklace for you. You like necklaces? I'm still getting used to having a neck myself. Um, I'll think... I can lie about thinking about it? What? I'll, I'll think about it. Well, considering I haven't really figured out how to work these fists yet, I can't stop you either way. But I'm warning you, if you put that eye back, you're going to be on the wrong side of history, pal. Uh-huh. Yes. Judging from the smell and the thick cloud of flies, this is not a place for a good time. Let's not go back unless you have a really good reason. Okay. Frog guy is watching me intently. So the quest is, I can either restore the humans, or I can take out the other eye and make it permanent. Here's the thing. He's saying that the the frog in human form here, instead of the other frogs in human form, he's saying make it permanent by take the other one out. But if I take the other one out, I might invoke the ire of he who croaks quite greatly. And we are, like, way screwing with the natural order of things. Um, because, I mean... Okay, the fact that they've got people doing that, I think, is going to push me over the edge. Quarry people probably have better rewards. They may. I'm going to mess with it. I'm going to return the missing eye, because guess what? That would make, that would make the frog god happier. Oh, Das Grubin, my friend with the manic smile. That's Molly Buttons. She's a member of the mob. She carry, she kneecaps people and carries a Thompson. She's real fun to have around. She might be related to Tex. We're not sure. I'm going to return the eye. In interest of full disclosure, I should point out this is a one-way decision. If you mess with the idol, you won't be able to change your mind afterward. So don't mess this up. Look... The, 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 in this game, the whole idea is undoing curses. And this is a curse. This is a curse. This is a curse. So I'm going to return the eye. Uh, Das Grubin, she's actually, uh, has a girlfriend. So, that's why I said possibly. Yes, it is a curse. It is a curse. I'm supposed to uncurse things. Hello, Zara. No, don't. You socket the missing emerald back in the statue. Both eyes flash with brilliant green light and then dim again. No! No! Hop you! Hop you, you ba! You okay? My brain feels slimy. Gross. 
This guy seems pretty tired. Maybe it's from all the hopping around earlier. Are you the original you? I'm the human, yeah. My name's Roger. Thanks for your help. I think I would have been crazy if I'd been trapped as a frog much longer. Although I guess there isn't a lot of practical difference between a crazy frog and a sane one. No problem, Roger. I was happy to help. It, that's still true. We got another problem. What's the other problem? I don't know how much you saw of the work situation, but it's a terrible place to work. It does seem kind of run down. It doesn't need to be. We turn a good profit, but the foreman refuses to spend any more than the absolute minimum on facilities and wages. Meanwhile, he's eating caviar like he's John D. friggin' Rockefeller. You should have seen his face when I told, showed him the idol. His tongue hit the floor like a cartoon wolf. He's getting yacht catalogs in the mail. While those, those of us who do the actual work have to take turns sleeping in one bed. Won't you? quit? We tried to start a union, but he called in the Pinkertons to rough us up. If we try to quit, it's the same deal. We can't even walk out because he watches us like a hawk. We decided to take our chances, though. See that tunnel back there on the left? That comes out past the trees, and if we snuck out at night, he wouldn't spot us. We could be out here in the mor on our way to town in the morning. You're planning to cross the swamp at night? It's not much of a plan, but it's the only one we got. The problem is the tunnel's full of flies. It's some kind of nest. And you need someone to clear it out for. Yeah, Grubin, it's company town thing. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right, Grimos. You're you're right. You need someone to clear the tunnel. That's about the size of it, and the size of those flies is real big. I'll need you to kill any maggots too, so they don't come back. Haven't got anything to pay you with, but we'd appreciate the favor. I got an idea. Also. I'm really thirsty for some reason, which is weird, because water is practically the only thing we eat around here. Is it clean? Calling it that would be a real stretch, but it's okay. Once your immune system gets acclimated, I grew this mustache to help filter it. Okay. Everything okay? My tongue hurts, and I've got a gross taste in my mouth. I've mainly been eating shoe leather, though, so this isn't new. Might be new in a way... Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, dude. This guy's been trying to stake it way too long. That depends if you're real or if I'm hallucinating you. I'm real. The frog thing was a hallucination, right? No, that was real too. If you're about to tell me to shoot my shoelaces are really but butterflies, I don't know how I'll react to that. Maybe you should go get sleep. Beer and loathing and lost wages. Thank you, side off. <laughs> I'm gonna beat up the foreman, I think. Scram, I'm busy. Okay, hey, pick a fight with me. Hey, leave my safe painting! Leave my painting alone! Why'd you say safe? Leave my painting safely alone! Uh-huh. I left the key here. I can't just beat up the foreman? Could I could I just mess up the foreman? There is no way this is an upgrade right now. Okay, I guess I'm playing Exterminator. Hello, tall ger tired German. Welcome to Spoopy Swamp. Oh, those are huge flies. Oh, my lord. A vein of extra bloody hematite. Ask for a donation as a parapsychologist. I got hematic ichor. Just the good parts of some blood. Oh, my lord. This is... I don't know why, but the maggot animations are super gross. Uh, yes, Psyduck, I, uh, I float because I'm wearing vampire shoes. Yeah, it would, uh, fireball. Yeah, I cast fireball. He's a foreman, need to be, oh, hidden boss, that's... All right. And the flies are large and aggressive. That's two understatements in the price of one. Okay, yeah. Um, Molly, get some get some gun damage out there. Hey! You can't do that. Oh, hidden mosquito puts down some damage. All right, 
we're gonna summon a uh, cheese elemental. Cheese of Cosmos, oh baby! We're gonna set everything on fire. Fire in the cheese hole! Uh, Psydoc. Shoes made of vampires, or shoes that are vampires, or shoes of a vampire. Don't worry about it. Let's not ask too many questions. Alright, let's get some splatter out. Abracavardi! Oh, wow. Okay. They are filthy four. Melee attacks will inflict four poison. Hmm. I mean, I could bomb them. How much have you got left? Eight. Eight. Seven. What is that? What is this? Oh, that's a stipic pencil. Hmm. Well... That's not gonna help. That's the Parmesan missile's not gonna help. Queso Fustilento might help. If I throw Okay. This one's on fire. So it's actually got three fires, so if I do the Stilton splatter, that one's gonna go down. This one that's on fire, that one's not on fire, that one's not on fire. So I will do that, and then I'll smack one of them, and then hopefully the Cheese Elemental and Mo or Molly will get to go. Zimzen Mozzarella! Okay. And now, I know this is it's, it's gonna be, like, it's filthy, so it's gonna gross me out. Okay, he's attacking Molly, which is not great, but... Oh, look at that! Cheese Elemental gets... Punches foe for 11 physical damage. Ends the Cheeseling's turn. Or it can heal me for 11. That's nice. Yeah, punch him, dude. Right in the Gorgonzola. All right. Hidden Busquito grows stronger. <laughs> the demons of Nurgle face the power of Zorg. Let's see. Dust off, the, dust off, and nuke the cave from orbit. Orbit's the only way to be sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's God. That is just. I know you guys said what the animation was, but it just looks gross as hell. A squirming pile, a giant pile of squirming maggots. Also, a squirming pile of giant maggots. Let's destroy the horrible things. You're gonna have to stomp and squelch them basically individually. It's gonna be super disgusting. Would you like a full description or shelf? Just move on. What in the world is that? Hello, Goat's Mayor wants one. Doctor Who wants two. Wilf wants two. Here's the, here's the thing. I spent this, uh, the, the first game sticking my hand in every spittoon I could find. It would be in the family tradition to get the details, right? The sound effects, yeah. Yes, spittoon! Get the sheriff deputy to make a comment. Ah. Another vote for two, another vote for one. The longer we sit here and wait, the longer we have to listen to that styrofoam sound. Alright, Goat's Mare, you may want to turn your volume down or something. One half, thank you, Psydog. You may want to turn your volume down and take off your headphones or something. Alright, here we go. Just to be clear, there's no bonus <laughs> item or achievement her special reward for the gross version and it's going to be as long as I can stand to make it. <laughs> Hit me with your best shot.
Okay, crackalack is the sound of me cracking my knuckles. You pick up one of the maggots. It's the size and shape of a medium to large sweet potato, or yam, depending on where you're from. But instead of brownish orange, it's a sickly white color, rich like an earthworm, both fleshy and rubbery, and covered with clear, sticky mucus. It wriggles and pulses in your hand. You drop it on the ground and stomp it, and it bursts with a pop squelch, spraying lumps of that pallid white flesh in a thin, greenish-yellow juice in a circle around the point of impact. When you lift your foot again, it sticks to the floor and makes a slurp sound as you peel away the sole of your shoe. Oh, I should have changed shoes before I did this. I didn't know they'd want me to stomp them. I thought I could just set them on fire. You pick two more. They wriggle in your hands as though they can sense what is happening. The mucus covers them in your hands now. It has the texture and viscosity of a slightly thinned down rubber cement. It glistens in the dim light and makes strands and webs between your fingers as you open your hands. You drop them on the ground and stomp them one foot each, sports black. The spray looks like lumps of old mayonnaise mixed with the juice from expired camping clothes stick. Yeah, right, goats? They, you're, you're absolutely right. The added liquid is making the floor slimy instead of sticky now, and you have to move more carefully to keep your footing. You pick up another. It sticks to your hand. It writhes as it can feel the glue-like mucus pulling at your skin. The fluids pumping around inside make it pulse faintly like a slowing beating heart. You squeeze it gently at first and then harder. It has the rubbery resistance of a half-filled water balloon. Imagine a white water balloon filled with warm green milk. Oh my lord. That's how it would feel in your fist. There's a thin high-pitched squealing as it bulges at the ends and then bursts, spraying you with all appearances, rancid cottage cheese and adding antifreeze. That's when you start noticing the smell. Okay, we're still doing this. This is a true story. Once when I was in junior high school, I tripped and skinned my left elbow on the sidewalk. A patch of bleeding road rash larger than a little larger than a quarter. I washed off, put a bandage over, and forgot about it. A few days later, I noticed the smell because my classmate sitting near, near me noticed the smell and wondered where it was coming from. My injury had become infected. The bandage was soaked with pus. The smell was immediately identifiable, but if you never smell it, it smells like rotting apples. About the time they're completely brown and soft and have started to leak and collapse under their own weight. You close your eyes and take a deep breath through your nose and imagine that smell filling your sinuses, except the undertone of sour milk. That's what you're smelling now. Oh. They thrash in your hands and squeal. A thin, high-pitched noise like a pinhole in an air mattress. You close your eyes as they burst. The warm, clotted innards splatter against your face, then ooze down and drip onto your shirt. You might expect their insides to be cold as insects are cold-blooded, but in fact, maggots generate heat through metabolism and muscular contraction. In terms of texture, it's like being splatted in the face with a bowl of warm bolognese sauce. Or perhaps more accurately, if some projectile vomited on your face after eating a bowl of warm bolognese sauce. <laughs> the smell of rotting fruit and sour milk. It's thick in the air. Some of the juice got in your mouth. I don't have a point of comparison for the taste, but I imagine it tastes much the same as it smells. Maybe a little more acrid. Notice it won't let me stop now. I have to keep going. <laughs> Killing the maggots in ones and twos is going to take too long. So you jump as high as you can and stomp into the pile with both feet. The sound is kind of a thwack crunch splat all at the same time and you're up to your waist in thrashing white mucus coated grubs. You lift a foot, lose your balance, and fall backward in the pile. Imagine falling into a ball pit filled with overripe tomatoes and expired milk, except they're alive and crawling on you. They've covered you everywhere. You roll around, crushing and squirming, crushing the squirming magnets beneath you, feeling each distinct burst as a rubbery grub pops under your weight and sprays more bile and lumps of gristle into the growing pool. Oh God. I can't, I have to keep going. Eventually you stop out of breath and not wanting to breathe. It doesn't matter because the putrid glop has gotten up your nose and in your mouth and down your throat regardless of your desires. You might guess you have become accustomed to the smell by now, but no, you still smell it. You will never stop smelling the rotten fruit stench for the rest of your life. You're in a pool of chunky maggot stew covered in the pulp of hundreds of burst grubs. Your clothes soaked entirely through to the skin with mucus and stinking green juice. Every crevice filled with pallid white curds. You're the ungodly avatar of putrescence and filth upon the miserable earth. Thanks for reading. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't know why I took one. It looks like you missed one. It rides, enjoys riding around on you. It's a hat. It's a hat. Oh my god. It's a hat. Yay. Oh my god. No. No. No.
Give me back my hat. No. No. Yuck. Oh my god. Oh, I've got to go tell him this is done. Guess what? It's done. Don't come in. What are you covered in? I get guts. Thanks for clearing out the tunnel. Please leave this enclosed place and get some fresh air. I'll be fine. I was saying it for my benefit. The guy on the docks is gonna load. You're right. We had Spittoon, and now we have Maggot Hat. Man looks puzzled and tired. Guy has an uncomfortable but hopeful look on his face. Are you okay? I don't like to complain, but I'm so tired. When I took the job as an office assistant, I never managed. I'd be in charge of cleaning and maintenance around the camp as well. I'm only one person, and now I'm having these weird dreams about frogs. It makes me regret giving up laudanum. Lee Rogers' plan will work. Oh. I mean, you, sh you shouldn't go through the stuff while Lay's watching you. I mean, you shouldn't anyway, but the fact she's here makes it... <laughs> provides a little more concrete reason than basic morality. Hey, Foreman! Guess what? Hey! Hey! He's still looking at the yacht catalog. Okay. Let's go out the other side and make sure there's not anything that's going to want to kill him. Can I fish in the pool of magnets? Apparently not. I did that. I did all that. Alright, let's leave the area. Well. That was disgusting. Guess I'm going back to the monster shack to claim... Despite anything on the map, the map might have to say about it, you've managed to wander back to the spot where you set the trap for the Chupa Naharanja. Peering through the bushes, you discover the trap has trapped something. It looks like a toad with a tentacle face covered in boils that might be eyes. You have no idea what the Chupa Naharanja looks like, but this seems as likely as anything you're imagining. You presume that it's pretty annoyed about being caught in the trap. Alright, you sneak up on it, which senses your presence and thrashes angrily. Breaking through your trap, it turns to face you. It seems... Mad. Alright. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um... Look at that thing. That's a, that's a lot. Shoot it! Daka, 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 daka. Mosquito's gonna put some hurt down. Good job, Mosquito. And now I have to make some decisions, because... Okay, so doing the, the stilt and splatter won't help. Tentatoad. It's not a hypnotoad, thank goodness. I can do stench damage, it doesn't seem to have any stench armor. I can do ten hot damage! If I did 10 hot damage, 4 times, 40, 18, and then I could smack it with this and hopefully take it out. So, we'll go about it that way. Let's cook him. Wah! I'm boiling your mind. What happens if I spit? I don't know what happens if I, if I spit. Um, the elemental does do well, but I think I can, I th you're right, goats, but I think I can wipe it out if I, uh, do it this way. I think I'll actually have enough damage to take it out this turn. So, yep, okay. See that? I petted it hard. I got the Chupinurharanja nostril. You cut off one of the nostrils, pick up your trap, and get the heck out of here before it regains... Con okay, I didn't kill it. A ring of flesh, perfectly crafted by natural selection, to seek out the mightiest of oranges. Awesome. I fetted it hard. Um. Oh, right, I already talked to him. Talk to her. Hey... I caught the Chupa Naharanja you were after, nearly. I had to tussle a bit. Got the job done. That's great! We have real proof for why there aren't oranges in the swamp. Sure. Here's the nostril. Oh, where it is a ring! Okay, don't go near any part of that swamp for a while. It, it, it is real mad. 
He pins another badge on my monster club sash. Plus five maximum experience. Thank you. That's pretty good. Who's the other? I need to talk to you. Did you find the smell of the wisp? Hey, I got a fully decked out monster shack sash. I got an achievable. Bleep, bloop. I did. Don't open the jar while I'm in the room. That bad, huh? If it, I wonder if it's gotten stronger since I met it. Thank you for your help. If you hand over the nose trumpet, she lent you in a jar of foulness you collected. She takes and pins another. Meat drops, bonus stats, an additional item, and plus five maximum hit points. That's cool. You know what this is? The sash was awarded to you by the Monster Squad. Do you, do you know what this means, guys? Hello, Grimos. You know what this means? I'll wear the sash. I'll wear the monster sash. Is that replace? Okay. Monster sash. Exhaustive list of vampire nests in the area. Okay. What are you doing, man? Oh, I'm done with traps. I'm working on banging the electric razor. Are you old enough to shave? No, that just means I got plenty of time. Can I can I try to pet Boris? Oh! You Boris looks at your sash and nods for New Cat Unlocked! I can now pet Boris to receive a boon! I can redeem pets! Sprig's boon is plus one muscle. Boris's boon is plus one spooky armor. We'll get Boris's boon. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could kill some vampire. Oh my gosh! So there's a gator vampire. There's a floating head vamp swamp gas vampire. Vampire flesh thief. Intends to steal my hand and have my stats? And then swampire bat. Swampire bat intends to shriek belch. How much do you, does kneecapping him do? Not enough. Just damage out there, mom. This game has some lore, all right. You better believe it does. Oh, spoopy! All right, we're gonna set you on fire. Burn, Elzorg! All right, now prepare for hot cheese. Oh, I forgot you were up there. That is a swim swimpire bootlegger. She's gonna throw a broken bloodshine bottle at me. Broken blood? Oh my good lord! Here, have another one. Do I have another? I have another AP. Let's do this. Hey, it's taking out a bunch of them, and that means that I am gonna smack you with my uh, school cafeteria scoop. Take that. You're not taking my stats. Hey, Molly. Um, smack him. <laughs> the normal things are the weirdest. I, yeah. Swampire Flesh Lawn. Deals your mysticality plus fives physical damage and reduces, reduces stats by one. It's pretty nice. And then swamp gas increase the damage of your magic weapon attacks by five until I use another potion. That is pretty good. Okay. To-do list. Side quests. Oh, I've got to go back to the dolphin house because I did not find all of the uh, padlocks. There's a padlock missing. No, she smacked the vampire in the kneecap. Maybe she smacked it in. Maybe she's trying to smack it in the kneecap and missed. Old house abandoned in the swamp, half sunk in the wet mud. All right, we'll look. Cheapers, creepers. There's a bandit shot dead on the floor, right in the foyer. Must come in here looking for treasure. From the looks of it, he wasn't the only one. Stink of death hangs in the place. Holy gosh! Sitting room is littered with bodies. Three more bandits. An entire defensive line of the Ocean City football team. Wow. Obvious what happened. Bandits and football players got sold the same line of buried treasure by some shifty rumor monger. Both groups came here searching for their fortune, ran into each other, and everyone got shot to pieces. Whatever, wherever the double dealer that sold him the tip is now, you better be smiling. Here's the kitchen. Also shot by a bandit and a linebacker, it looks like. But he got him too. Poor 
our souls. The bedroom, the finish line. Here's where you made it. The quarterback and the wide receiver. You figure they would have been on the same side, but they shot each other in the back simultaneously. Um. Hey, Diggs, welcome back. There's nothing in here but a single jewelry box on the nightstand. Ain't that funny? All that death for a couple trinkets. Yoink! I got a jewelry case. I'm going to weep openly and continue where I'm going, because... I wouldn't say he missed them, goats. Maybe he wasn't here for it, but I wouldn't say he missed them. Nothing in the car. Uh, is this the bench the woman on the radio is check under the bench? I found the Dolphin Padlock Key and 11 and 1 oil. Okay. Cinder blocks are totally waterlogged. Nothing in the tool chest unless you're a rust enthusiast. Old Dolphin never got sick of tires. Wait a minute. What's the radio do? I don't remember what the radio is doing. Quest item. The teeth on this key are wiggly and loose like the teeth on a child. Okay. Um. Woman's voice says, Clarence, I'm grateful our family never saw... Oh, okay. So this was to let me hear ghosts, except the ghosts are... Everyone here is apparently very well adjusted. Uh, no, it's empty. No severed head. Use Roof's gadget. Thing clicks and the needle goes up to three. Okay, that's nice. The basement's flooded. Stairs to the second floor. Uh, that was the bathroom with the... Oh! The bathtub is full of steaming blood. No, that's red light coming through the stained glass rose. Fishing rod! Von Zeef Kador, on a different note, I thought of a finisher for AEW Gridlock, since we don't have the Razor's Edge and Lance Archer's Blackout. You know what? You're right. Gridlock Fly Metal Bird. The Him getting Von Zeef Kador, you're right, because, um, I mean, that is the Murder Bird, isn't it? Lance Archer is the Murder Bird, so the, the metal, it, there would be another connection. I'm going to look for that. Uh, Von Zeef Kador, especially since the Dan Hall the Hookhausen pack drops today. It's not out yet when last I looked, but a Shadow Clarinet. Ballastall. Shadow Clarinet. Might be an oboe, hard to tell. With the endless void pouring into your world through its silhouette, reduce all enemy stats by 13. Wow. Uh, Shadow Hot Dog. Increase muscle by one and damage your melee weapons by five. Sausage shape hole in reality. Okay. And one more fishing. Bottle of shadow mead increases your meat drops by 70. That's everything. Alright, let's see. Where'd this one go? Oven is full of gross, steamy swamp worms. Nothing good in the fridge, no matter how times you look. We know that feeling, right? Those dry goods are now stale goods. Okay, let's go upstairs. I don't have a breathing apparatus to go downstairs. But... What was... Okay. Alright. It might be the, the nursery. Is there a nursery? Oh, no. Unlock it. Here we go. Recovered padlock. I got a... There's a veil in here, and beyond the veil, nothing. Perfumed wedding veil, plus one moxie, plus three stench armor. If you ever decide get, to get married by at the city dump. Alright. So that's all of the locks I was looking for. What was in the attic? Is there anything in the attic? Uh, nope. Nothing else up here, I don't think. Breathing. Oh, hello, clan ducks. Um, well, I haven't finished with fission chips yet because I haven't found barbecue sauce yet. I'm working on it. So, let's 
it's uh, tree has a hole in it, slightly larger than your hand. For what is ostensibly a horror game, we've had way too many few opportunities for you to stick your hand in a suspicious hole. Well, okay. So where where was this side quest at? Where did I need to turn that in? Pepperidge Dolphin in a sunken boxcar. That's right. Sunken boxcar. Alright, I need I need beverage. A clump of mangrove trees, whatever those are, you come face to face with a bearded gator man with a big filthy sack. It's a burlap sack. It does it and it doesn't have a face, just the gator man does. Bar shack, 103 meat, sale final. Not yet, Von Zeev Kador. I suspect it's because there's some stuff I haven't finished on the, the college campus yet. Yeah, I'll buy the sack. Weed Lord Fetish. Deal with, oh, wow. Okay. Offhand item. Steal uh, hit points from an opponent equal to your muscle once per fight. Okay. Gator Punch. Okay. Swamp Mushroom. Don't know. It's like Crimbo. Sad, wet, dirty Crimbo. Gator men are learning capitalism. We're doomed. Psyduck, why, why, why are you so fixated on the the hat? Look, plus one muscle mu mysticality and moxie. But look, what I'm wearing now: mysticality, physical armor. I'll wear it for a minute. There. Oh my God. Oh my god. I hate this. Hey, Pepperidge Dolphin. What can I do for her? I found your father's padlocks. You didn't run into my grandmother by any chance, did you? Was she supposed to be there? No, it would have been highly unusual considering she died more than 30 years ago. Here's your padlocks. Marvelous. Once I've reaccustomed myself to standing on level ground, I'll be on my way. There's a big hobo camp near Ocean City you might be interested in. I'll give you directions. I think I'll head that way. Perhaps I'll see you there. Yep. Okay. That's all I can handle this this hat. Let's... Give me my hat. Yeah, I know the... I know that hat moves. I don't like it. Um... That's... I really... Really don't enjoy that. Hmm. You know what I haven't done is I haven't looked for any of the fences to paint. There's something you don't see every day. A big hunch of raw meat hanging from a tree branch. Or I don't see it every day. Maybe you spend more time in swamps than I do. Not wanting to let perfectly good haunch go to waste, you approach it with a cartoonish... You and Molly find yourselves trapped in a big net hanging from a tree. Well, dang it. Raspberries! Tear myself loose. Hell smash! The net is rather shoddily constructed. It's made of vines, and heck, if you're going to let some stupid vines get the better of you. After a short struggle, you tear the net open, you and Molly drop free and escape with the goods. A slab of bone in flesh from some animal too distasteful to even mention, let alone eat. I don't know what to do with Swamp Hotch, but... Yes, I I've been getting some of the radios. There's no fence here. There is a fence here. I'll paint it. Paint, paint, paint. Looks pretty clean to me. Okay, let's go to the Leather Brothers. I told you to get. Didn't I give you enough money for the bus? Here you go. Thanks, dude. Nothing to see here. Hunter's beans. A very veritable hill of them. Wait, what? The bedroll must be where John accesses the hunter stream. What is that? The hunter stream, if you have to ask, it's not meant for you. I want to go. Prove yourself a hunter, maybe. Huh. Wait, 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 wait. What was I supposed to do for you? Jade Gator hides. Oh, right. I needed more gator hides. Can I talk to him? He acknowledges you with a phlegmatic nod. Can we trade? Gator man skin. Oh, bunch of chat. Yes, uh, Psyduck, you know I believe in balance. Okay. Okay. No, I don't want head lice, Psyduck. Okay, Psyduck, yes, your belief in balance. You're 
just smack it at Parallax. <laughs> Should have DM'd it to me so everybody else didn't hear it. But oh my god! <laughs> I look tall in the boots. That's cause I'm just gonna say it's cause I'm floating. Oh my god! Okay, that's Psyduck. That's beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much. I'll uh, try the shack. I'll try the monster shack. Look, everybody, just, here's, everybody, just, don't say anything, okay? Don't say anything. A black shape blooms in the view. At first, it's difficult to make out the silhouette, but it seems to be a massive shadow, brute. It doesn't react to your presence. It's facing away. It's hard to tell. From its movements, it's been eating something. Then another shape, a flappy bat wing shape, unfurls itself on the brute's shoulder and screeches noiselessly at you. Noiselessly at you, and the brute turns around. All right, well, I guess we'll fight I should keep that other ring on. Why do I keep taking that ring off? All right, Molly, make with the DACA. Get him, mosquito. You got ten, <clears throat> but you cannot take more than five physical at a time. That's fun. And you. We're going to shriek at horrible frequencies at me. Same kind of thing. So guess what? This isn't physical. Well, it's five anyway. It doesn't matter. Hocus et amocus. Oh, I'm going to burn you up. Yeah. Burr. Get zorbed. Yes, bully snake. That's, uh, I believe that is the idea. Uh, I'm, I'm here for it. You guys have a fence out here? Barbariaga's hut. You hear Gator Man screaming, screaming to your left. Ah! Another screams to your right. Ah! Another snarls behind you. Ah! You hear someone say, "Ugh!" There's another Gator Man. You're surrounded. Well, I guess we're gonna fight. Give him the, give him the beans. Oh, oh wow! That's 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 gross, Gator Man. That's gross. I'm gonna summon. Jesus of the cosmos, obey me. Wow, he just pops into existence, doesn't he? Alright, let's see. Let's get some splatter out. Let's do it again. One of the first search results is a cap with the text your face would make a maggot throw up. That is... Wow. Wow, dragon. That is horrible. Focus Munster Ocus. Alright. Okay, now, who am I going to smack? He's going to munch a mushroom. He's going to attack Molly. He's going to try and hit Mosquito for 32 damage. He was going to whip everybody, so... We're going we're gonna to take out the Gatorman Rage Jerk, I think. Oh, wow, that's a lot of healing. Yeah, Molly went down. Uh, you're going to do 12 physical damage. Yeah, go get him. Bam! Oh. Oh. He had the... The filthy... I didn't look at the filthy. He was filthy five. Well. Alright. Um, you've got 29. So we'll just go ahead and take you out. Because we can take you down. He's eating another shroom. Oh. 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 Gross. Also, still gross. Thank you, Mosquito, but still gross. Here, I just take this out. There we go. Gatorman skin pens. Gator cheese. Gator hides. 
I don't remember how many gator hides I was trying to find, but okay. Curse fishing run. Splash some water on my face. Oh, I got to wash that off. I lost the effect. Get the wind knocked out of you. Awesome. I love it. Cursed fishing rod. You cleaned it out. Okay. There's no fence here. How about Radio Shack? You see a plume of smoke coming from a nearby clump of trees and brush. As you draw near... The sounds of ragged cackling and witches can be heard. Is it a real coven of swamp witches? Double, double, toil and trouble. No. What you find is weirder. A gang of scraggly looking swamp... Okay. If they're swamp dwellers, they can't be hillbillies. If they're swamp dwellers, they're not hillbillies because they don't have hills in the swamp because the water all runs down the hills. They're tending a ratty old still. Oh, hi. You cooking up a batch of corn? Nope. Rats. Ew. Of course, now you're here. A whole nother recipe comes to mind. Well, I'm going to magic up a solution because I have the witch and the mysticality for it. I'm pretty sure you can't make booze out of blood. It won't, wouldn't ferment. Why not? Blood sugar's a real thing. Yeah, but I'd have to be diabetic. So diabetic, I'd sweat pancake syrup. Look, maybe I can set you up with some ingredients. A few quick mathema mathematical... <laughs> I would have paid attention to math class if it was mathematical. Uh, calculations later, and you've opened a portal to the fruits and vegetables dimension and retrieved a bushel of bright, custom bright red ears of corn. <clears throat> Here you go, blood corn. I made it by crossbreeding regular sweet corn and blood oranges. Well, heck, I reckon that solves our problem nicely. Thanks, feller. No mention it. This is a fence. No, no, I'm not going by that fence. No. No, no, we are not going back by that fence. That's no, we're not doing that. And I can't really do anything with this. I've already done all this, done this, done this, done this. Okay, where are we going now? I guess we could go look in the village. There's a fan. Oh, outside of the area. Okay, thank you, Clan Ducks. A chunk of oil shale jutting out of the stagnant pool, making the surrounding water greasy and colorful. You asked a shale about its mother, and it cries tears of shellac. Sh some shellac comes from insects, but you don't. But if you don't know that, it can come from basically anywhere. All right, Gator Village. Oh, right, this one. This one was a headache to... Uh, we'll go to the fortress, because we can finish the side quest. Ah, for the lover! What's with all these stinking mushrooms? I got spores all over me! Oh, don't shoot them, you'll get more spores everywhere. But I'll feel better about it. Revenge ain't a solution for every situation, Buck, but it works more often than you'd think. Just wipe the spores off with this handkerchief. Don't get bent out of shape. This never happened when I was working strong arm jobs. Except for that time a goblin exploded on me. Cool. Oh, look at that. Reach inside. Shadow salad. It would be funny if it wasn't so terrifying. Increase your mysticality by one and the damage of your magical weapon attacks by one until you eat something else. Well, in which case, what have I eaten? I have two of these. It would replace cro protein and grease, which is muscle and moxie. Yeah, I want to do that. You eat the salad and begin to laugh a hollow, dead laugh. A pleasant numbness spreads within you, soothing darkness. Salad shadowed. <laughs> the gator men aren't doing enough damage to each other for it to seem like a real fight. Either they're sparring or this is how gator men arguments work. I'm going to ambush him. Human trespasser, sound alarm. Hey, alarm, alarm, kill human. Other Gatormen rush out, not wanting to miss the chance to kill a human. Oh, we're doing this again. All right, get that DACA going. Ow. Get him. Yeah, get that damage down. Moxie, Psyduck is... 
It's basically it's strength, dex, and mental stats. So muscle is your strength, moxie is your dexterity, and then um, mysticality are your mental stats. Let's summon the cheese. That Thompson could do with a rechamber to 46. <laughs> Be cleansed by flame, hail Zorg! Alright, now we're gonna splatter hot cheese. Here. Why are only two of you on fire? Alaka Membert. More hot cheese. Okay, now you were gonna belch on me. You were gonna do physical damage. You were gonna. Oh, those are both. Oh, but he's got 28. I can't take him out. I can take him out, though. You think it's a 22 repro reproduction? <laughs> Alright, 13 physical damage. Uh, that's that, that's that. Yeah, Cheese, go punch him. Oh. Alright, now Molly can put more dock in. Yeah. Oh, no! That was way more damage. That was more damage than I thought it would be. I am ill-equipped. Punch him! Punch him! Punch him, Chewy! Oh, nuts. You lost. The guards kick your barely conscious body out of the way so they can fight each other out trip. You lost the fight on purpose. You don't even care. I'm aloof. Could you make a 46 Thompson by reforging it with 1,911 1911s? I don't know, maybe. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. What does the signet ring do? Okay, that's good. This says I can't take more than five damage at once. This makes me immune to poison damage. And that one gator was doing a lot of poison damage. Creepy music box. That deals my moxie to everybody. That reduces their mysticality. That's based off my muscle. Ugh, oh, you guys are... Muscle. On a duck call. It's, everything's based off my muscle or moxie here. Well, my moxie's okay. Yeah, okay, this will be good. Because that's another AoE thing I can do. Water break! Yeah, that was pretty good, pretty crazy damage. He had been buffed a lot. Um, and then, what potion? Okay, so I just had Shadow Salad. But what potion am I under the effect of right now? Gator Punch increases that. We don't need that. We don't need that. I don't really need this, because I only do one weapon attack per turn. That's okay. That's okay. That's uh, disturbing. This increases my maximum AP by two, though. The Shadow Milkshake. That's nice. The Elixir is nice. Super Soldier Syrup. Uh, ranged weapon attacks, which I don't use. Cocktail sauce, fish liver oil, shadow grease, fishman concoction, AP by one. That is nice. Um, spoopy armor, blue cola for maximum AP. 
red call the maximum HP. I think I want the milkshake, because that's going to be useful. Anyone else playing the new uh, DLC for MechWarrior 5? Uh, I have. I got it, Grubin. Uh, I've only played like one mission into it, but I've got it. Yeah, we're going to increase my mysticality and my AP. That's better than Fairy Dusted, because that's just spooky armor, so yes. It's like Nietzsche said fairly recently, be careful when you drink the Abyss's milkshake, because the Abyss also drinks your milkshake. <laughs> milk of the void. You're suffused with milky shadow. It's making you kind of phlegmy. Alright. I think I'm going to keep the Stilt and Signet ring on for more damage. Uh, that way I can have another round of Stilt and Splatter. Alright, let's do this. Come on, boys! Okay, so if Molly kneecaps somebody, it reduces their muscle by four. So I'm going to have her kneecap this guy. Posture check. Alright, hang on. I've checked my posture. It is, uh, it is left one. Thing. Okay, he came after me first, which means Mosquito gets to heal me back up. Because Hidden Mosquito is the best, grossest pet. Alright, let's... Elemental cheese, heed my call! Alright, everybody goes on fire. Uh, are the push-ups and squats meant to be there? For some people it is. I am not one of those some people. Alright, we're gonna put 20 damage out on everybody. More damage. More! More! Yamal has been updated. It's okay. See, I, I end up playing, um... I end up playing Mech Warrior 5 stock in a lot of cases because then that way, if I play it stock, it's easier for me to play it with more people. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take you out. Here. Welcome back, Goat's Mayor. Oh, he he just belched on. Go get him, cheese. All right, Molly, let's get the dock out. Miss your cockpit glass in the first <laughs> All right, Gator Punch. I didn't get any hides, though. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Well, you know, interestingly, I can do something about the stench. I also forgot to use the music box. Alright, that's plus five stench armor. Oh, that's still not enough. Never mind. Um, give me that back. We'll just go in the door. Time limit is done. Let's see. The forge for hammering on... Terrible gator medals. Look at this guy go. Look at them working out, man. Look at these guys drinking. What's a collective noun for gator men? A cruelty, a depravity, a butthole. <laughs> well, this bunch of gator men are so shocked or drunk to see a human they haven't attacked you yet. The shadow taint on the left side of my stats. Wait. Where... Where uh, character sheet shadow you have corrupted your flesh I think it's from using shadow items um, in the boss I think that's what that is alright let's fight him um is he a buffer 
He, the mush muncher, gets a mushroom. He does the belch. He does the smackety smack. He's going to try and smack me. He's going to attack Mosquito. Mosquito had, well, I guess it don't really matter. Go ahead and kneecap him. Power, but it won't cost. Yeah, it's like necromancy in the West. That's that's accurate. All right, let's do this. Jesus of the cosmos, obey me! Burn, hail sword. All right, now we get the Stilton. Presto, Monstero. Let's see, what do we got? One more. Yeah, do it. I knew that would drop one of them. And now I'm gonna smack this one. Because this guy. Yeah, he's a rage jerk. He sure is a rage jerk. And my cheese golem just punched that one. Eating shrooms! Oh, he just puked on us. Alright, Molly, take him out. All right, Gatorman hides. I got Gatorman hides. A swampy old headband. Add three armor, hot armor to a hat. Okay, that's good. What, what's what is this? Oh, nothing I can interact with. Uh, okay. Gatorman dinner bell. They don't cook their meals. They probably don't cook them in an electric stove in 18 inches of water. Nothing of value on here by Gatorman standards. It's a hanging fridge on a rusty chain. I'll break this rusty chain. What's inside? If it wasn't attached well, it comes loose. I got a refrigerator on a chain. What do I do with a refrigerator on a chain? Neither one is in good, good shape, but you're probably not going to find a better version of this combination. What do I do with it? Seriously, what do, what do you... Is it a weapon? No. Is it miscellany? Yeah, it's miscellany. Dang. Man, if that had been a weapon, that would be pretty pimp. Hey, Charles in a cage. It's a cage with Charles in it. Charles. They'll hear you, right? I'm glad to see you. I thought I was a goner. You're the adventuresome type. You know how to pick a lock? Only with the appropriately shaped key. You'll have to get it off their leader. I think his room's at the other end of the hall. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, gosh, they're all working so hard. They're exercising and blocking your way. Probably something important, because the end of the hall is where the important stuff is, right? Maybe the hobos will like it. That's true. No, I can't pick Locks Hidden Box Hidden Boss. That's Uh okay, that's the Chief. That's the Scream. Alright. This is the one with the muscle, so kneecap him, Molly. Whack! There you go. Alright. Mosquito's gonna do some stuff. That's good. I like it. Let's get a golem. Elemental cheese! Hit my call! I like you just... Right in there. Let's get some fire. Kill some Good. We have multiple fire. Now! 20 damage! More damage, Hocus at Amocus. More damage, feel my hot cheese. And one more, Zim Zam Gouda. All right. So you, the Scream Mouth, was gonna scream for 15 damage. He was gonna whip me with a vine and steal hit points, and then he was gonna do 29 stench damage. Oh my dear sweet God, I'm gonna smack him. Is the gator with the beard Snoop Croc? <laughs> it kind of looks like it, because there's a lot of them that uh, just eat shrooms. So, I can see where you might come to that conclusion. Hello, Von Falkenstein. Let's get some Doc in here. There we go. Am 
You won! Now you can find out what's at the end of the hall. I hope it's cool. I do too. Oh, this is gonna be their leader. Hey, go away! Do you think the Gatorman Stasis book is bad about everything else about him? Keeping the rust off your iron fist. Don't eat your henchmen. Tips for new rulers. Spot welding guide for ad hoc fortresses. Pretty much what I expect. But this seems... Bones and how to crack them. Well, let's look at that. A treatise on bone pain and how to maximize it in your victim. Crack knuckles. Increase mysticality by three. I will read that. Um, learn a few things about knuckles you apply in non-torture context. Finger flexibility is the key to nuanced spellcasting. There's a more challenging chapter that delves into deeper, nu deeper, nu <laughs> deeper knuckle physics. I've got the stuff to read it. Let's read that. You studle nu study knuckle anatomy until you can't think about anything else. Crack knuckles have been upgraded. When you finish, you crack them so loudly the resulting sonic boom disintegrates the book. Uh, yeah, I should have taken an adventure mail lawyer. Correspondence course on lockpicking. That would have been good idea. Hey, I'm gonna flush the real seat of power. I got 45 experience for flushing that. The least comfortable chair in the world. Well, let's look for a second. 700 experience! I better do something with this. Hmm. I think I can just get everything. Buy this skill. Yeah. Buy this skill. Yeah. Buy this skill, yeah. Buy this skill, yeah. Yep, okay. We've done all that. Next section. Doesn't matter. Uh, can't unlock any of that. Can it? And... Let's go back a second. Swamp Gaius. Oh. What do you want? Okay. Do I have more book upgrades? Let's... You know what? That's a good question. I will look. Um, okay, inventory. Injured booking. The History of Mud Hinge. Short Stories of Long Winters. I Choose Not to Be Cold. Sloppy Cooking for Huge Groups. Upgrades Fondue Deluge. Yes. That means it sets more on fire. Yes, more Zorging. You read the book and forget everything you ever knew about kitchen cleanliness, including where you left the book you just read. Okay. Advanced neurological anatomy. Surely shocking jokes. Gives him sleaze armor. Button recipes increases meat drops. Meat drops. HP. HP. Three armor against every element in space time. That's nice. Upgrade Parmesan missile. Upgrade mind melt. Okay, we're gonna get reality shift because that's really handy. You read the whole book from the first to the last page. You read every word of every sentence, of every paragraph of every chapter. When you're done, you throw the book away because now you've really and truly read it and you never need to read it again because you definitely already read it. Okay. I think I have read them. Because I know Parmesan Missile. I know Melting Mine. Um, upgraded. Heard them all. Okay, we'll just go ahead and read this later. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Fine. Hole leads to an underground chamber. Object to my reality. You're scared of... It's too long a drop for how scared you are of drops. Well... What? Wait. Okay. Hey, Charles, you got any ideas? No. Yeah, I need some kind of rope. There's, well, I mean, there's a hook up here, too. What am I supposed to do with that? I can't do anything with that. Let's try quest item.
it is here. But it, it doesn't it doesn't prompt me to use it. I think it would prompt me. But it didn't prompt me. Just hooks. The middle room goes back outside. Oh no it doesn't. That is a room. I'm gonna grab this rusty chain. Are there any shoes in here? Wide loafers! Biggins! Widens my gate. It's either shoes for two people or two pairs of shoes for people who only like to wear one shoe but on both feet at once. Yes. Yes, uh, yes, clan ducks. Yes, you were correct. Let's investigate the rusty barrel. It says chloroform on it, and so does the smell leaking out. Leave that alone. Could I have avoided all the gator fights if I had dumped the chloroform in the water? Hello, Night Owl. Yes, I have a fridge on a chain. Fish in a sack. Yes, I could have been like Lord Be or uh, Sir Beckett and used a, a dense object on a chain, but it wouldn't let me. Uh, too nasty to touch. I kind of want to dump this out and see what happens. I'm going to do it. I see what you're going for. Filling the place with chloroform fumes would knock out all the guards, but it would knock you out, and you're standing in almost knee-deep water. I'm pretty sure drown is not on the schedule for today. Alright, fine. Well, then let me go use this rusty chain to climb down, because Clan Ducks was right. Attach the chain I found. Climb down. Private property scram. What kind of magic is this? What is this? You don't know what this object is, but it's got... Oh, it's got blood. It's an altar. It's a weird pedestal. He's a tele... That... Oh my gosh, we have a teleporter like the... I serious, go away. What? Oh my gosh, we're in... What? What is... Okay. Whatever it is, it's extremely broken. Yeah, it's, it's like that tech from the West. All these blocks are trying to move in a way that makes sense. They got knocked out of alignment. I will realign them. You move the blocks relative to each other until they start moving in a satisfying pattern. Assuming you're the person that thinks a smooth circular pattern is more satisfying than juddery sparks being chaos. Surely everybody's that kind of person. This has to be right. Yeah, yeah. It's less broken. Um, oh, oh, it is doing the pews. Good grief. You wouldn't have fixed it if you knew it was going to be ungrateful. I got ziggurat power. I can use three additional combat items. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. Touch the pedestal. Alright, now I'll go through here. I warning, kill you. Well, you can say that, but I... Is this an ancient temple guardian or something? It's shooting out a bunch of tightly focused beams of light that science doesn't have a name for, but you can probably assume you don't want touching it. Well, then I'll just avoid the beams. Dip beneath the lasers. Oh, this is like Ocean's uh, 13, isn't it? Oh my gosh, the fish flop. Look at that. Oh my gosh, helicopter legs! And I'm through. You worst, I destroyed. Goliath. Oh, hi! Um. Yes, we did say shoes. Wide loafers. Because we were gonna. Oh! Let's search the pub. Oh! Oh my gosh! He came over and killed the guy. You poke around in the mulch so you find something that more or less looks like an old iron key, except kind of blurry. Uh, it has to be what Charles mentioned. You look at the Goliath, there doesn't seem to be anything beyond it, and it looks like it can squash you in an instant. You make your way back up where you're held. This is the game saying, don't do that. Yes, this is... yeah. It's Charles, he's in a cage. It's a cage with Charles in it. Unlock the cage. You found the key? I think so, it's kind of weird. I don't like the looks of it at all. I'd bet dollars to donuts that's the artifact we're looking for. 
It couldn't possibly be the key to this random gator man cage in the middle of nowhere, could it? It might have some key-related powers. Normally, I'd advise against using it, but I don't see any other way out of this mess. Okay. The key shifts unpleasantly in your hand, buzzing and clicking through jerky slideshow of shapes as though searching for the particular slice of higher-dimensional object that will fit this lock. When it finds the right one, it jerks in your hand and twists, and the lock clicks open. Your hand feels numb. Thanks, Hal. Thought my bacon was well and truly fried. Don't mention it, Charles. Let's get out of here. With no further cause to stick around, apart from any unfinished side quests you might have, but you can always come back for them, you escort Charles back to town. You found the cursed artifact and brought Charles back safely. I can't express how grateful I am. I don't know what I'd do without him. Thank you so much. Well, it wasn't nothing, but, you know, I get it. Don't forget to uncurse that thing before you go to bed. Yeah, it's like, hey, don't, don't be doing that. Just... Um, it seems like it has the power to open any lock. It could be useful. Would it be bad if I didn't uncurse it? I'm not going to drag you in the machine and force you to do it, but yes. I don't know how what would happen if you don't uncurse it, but it would be bad. You uncurse the other things, right? Yeah. So uncurse this too. Better safe than... So uh, yes, you know, we'll, we'll do that. Can I remove my gas? Will this get rid of gases? Plural of goose is geese. Do you have geese? No, gas, like a curse. Oh, probably. I, I, I don't... I'm sure... We'll go ahead and do the key. The key jumps to the roof of the dome and sticks there, shaking and keening. That's the sound keys make against the metal. And the light in the store... Fly, wine flicker and cut out. Wait it out. Only when the power is out does the key calm down, give up the most odious part of itself to the machine, and drop back in your lap. We had a spare light bulb under the cat. Hi, night clerk. There's a spare light bulb under the cat, guys. Keys lurch. Oh, okay. It's a terrible key on a chain that is rendered decorative. Curse lingers in the machine. Alright, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, hello. I've assembled everyone as you asked, Detective. The victim's wife, the two men that were present in the passenger car at the time. I confess the truth of this murder continues to elude me, but I have no doubt you are soon to enlighten us with your great powers of deduction and observation. May I inspect the body again? No, that wouldn't be fair to the other passengers who haven't had a look yet. But I will tell you what I know. At 11.13 a.m., the professor dropped dead in his chair after sitting down with his wife for a cup of tea. At that time, Mrs... Rayu Kenshi and Mr. Andretti were the only other passengers present in the car. Mr. Perry returned later. The rest I leave to you to deduce. Okay. Andretti and Rayu Kenshi were in the car. Mr. Perry came back later. Andretti, a businessman. I told you, I've never heard of this man. I know a burger with college, of course. It's an excellent institution, but I didn't know he's a professor. Now, come on, let's not delay our journey further. I'm traveling with 19 suitcases of exotic rubber to make new and exciting wheels at the factory. Detective mode. You observe closely and see what you can do. Exotic rubber. No doubt from the jungles of Almo... Almodovar, whose local brand of nicotine I smell on his collar. Of course, the rubber plants of Almodovar don't just yield material for bouncy tires, but an odorless poison, lethal when drunk in hot tea. But why would this man embed a murderer and a stranger? <clears throat> I suspect the answer lies in the resume on the table and the name printed Martin Perry. You may Ryo Kenshi, the victim's wife. She dabs her eyes with a handkerchief and embroider, embroider with the words "morning rags and wipes." Okay, moment's privacy, please, detective. I have nothing to do with my husband's death. No reason to want him gone. He was a kind man, not a rich one. Everything he made, he spent on the roulette tables. He owned over seven hundred of them, largest collection in the world. We were traveling to your Blinda so the mayor could give my husband the key to the city, but that won't happen now. Detective mode. <clears throat> Sometimes the simplest answer is the correct one. She had no reason to wish her husband dead, but the chemical stain in her cuticles and the fingerprints on the window above, which she opened to dispose of the murder weapon, tell the tale more truly. But the nose reveals even more. Observe the zigzag pattern of the medial cleft below the nostrils. It's called 
Petrie's philtrum. It's a rare genetic disorder she shares with her Martin Perry, her son. Martin Perry, a youth. It's as I said. Yes, the man was a college professor of mine at Burgerworth College, and yes, he gave me a C and a D, but that's no reason to kill a man, wouldn't you agree? Besides, at the time of his death, I was in the laboratory, trying to figure out what all the bits and pieces do. The perfect alibi, wouldn't you agree? Detective mode! He's right. A mere C and D are no reason to kill one's professor. But is that the whole story? Observe how the boy tinkers with the fountain pen and the train laboratory. He fancies himself a mechanic. But he wouldn't get his foot in the door if the profession... if of that profession if his C&D stood for card dunce. Nobody would be able to hire him, unless the professor who awarded those ignominious graves, grades died. In that event, every grade he ever gave would be voided, and this young man could take back the plum job in car manufacturing and start earning the big buck. That, is that how it works? I didn't think that's how it worked. Okay, wait. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on, wait. <laughs> you saw Ignominious Grave perform at the Carolina Theater tonight. Yeah, that's right, Samurai. Absolutely. Okay, so Perry is Mrs. Ryukenshi's son. But Perry's resume was also over here with Mr. Andretti. Poison for hot tea. She threw a murder weapon out the window. Uh, I have solved the murder. The victim was... Poisoned by... Yume Ryokenshi. All will become clear. With exotic poison to void Martin Perry's car dunce great so he could work make tires for Mr. Andretti. Young Martin dreams of working on working on cars, and his fresh ideas excite Mr. Andretti, who runs a tire factory. But Master Perry's professor effectively blacklisted him as car dunce, unemployable. What to do? Kill a professor and avoid the odious grade. The plot becomes most wretched. Master Perry's mother, Yume Ryo Kenshi, marries the professor and arranges for him to be present on the same train as Master Perry and Mr. Andretti, who supplies the undetectable poison administered by Mrs. Ryo Kenshi. Et voila! No more professor, no more car dunce. There is only one thing the three conspirators did not count on, me. I'm not ashamed. Any parent would do the same. As would a manager seeking new talent with interesting ideas about tires. If you call someone a car dunce, you're branding them for life. And you're responsible for what happens next. All three of them in it together? Tell you what, detective, at the next stop, they can all get out and take the bus. It's a sick business. Quite so, but a wonderful feeling to be possessed of great gifts, the great powers of deduction and observation, and to use them. Here's another gift. Call it a reward. A gift from a train corner in a dream or something. Yeah. Okay. Nice ring. Look at what awards you accrue. You accrue to the powerful. Look how the world reveals itself to your touch. I must take my leave. The curse remains unsolved. Okay. How does the curse remain unsolved? Well, it, okay, so my idea was that Mom did it so Boy could get the job for Mr. Andretti who supplied the poison to Mom. But I also can't access the ring because the owls are not what they seem. Uh, wait, what? But... Hang on. I got a ring for doing that, but it didn't solve the curse. I 
Okay, let me run through this again. Poisoned by Ryokenshi with the exotic poison. Let's avoid that. You've already solved the case. You were given great power and you used it. Remember the ring. You're being foolish. Oh, there's several solutions. I'll tell it again. Alright, so he got stabbed by you with an icicle to shut him up. You're a fool. A fool. I gave you powers of... I gave you the power to bend the... Uh, I gave you the power to bend back the skin of the world and sniff up its insides. How dare you waste it? You want to live without this power? Do you want to live in the dark? Well, no. It was smushed by a giant dog with big feet out of sick curiosity. <laughs> That's right, Samurai. You have to go to Indianapolis to see an Andretti catch this mud shell. Okay. Okay, what... What is this ring? Uh, okay, look. Uh, I'll go back in, but what is this ring? I'll equip it. Alright, there. It's, it's equipped. Here, now I'm going back in. Uncurse. No, no, not that, no. Uh, okay. Project. The key's curse. Alright, now I have the ring on. Alright. I can... I had to leave here to put the ring on. Poisoned by Martin Perry with the exotic poison. To protect someone or something? Okay. What am I... Unless I do need to say... Okay. That's the same. You poisoned your husband. Okay. This was the only one. Like, they admit to it. Uh, about ten more minutes, uh, Coach Mayor. So, they all... Yes, I figured it out, but I can't remove the curse. Is this one of those where I need to say yes, I want to stay in the ignorance? Alright, poisoned by her with that as that. A... many times as I care to relate it. Okay, so I'm going to come up with something incredibly stupid and then tell him that I did not clobbered by Yume with an oversized mallet to shut him up. Do you want to live in the dark? Yes. I uncurse you. Okay, so yes. There it goes. Okay. The curse was effectively trying to bribe me into not destroying it. Okay. No mysterious owl ring. Boy, that could have been a Twin Peaks reference. You are reminded of the great in great figures of history who wielded incredible power and chose to give it up. You can't think of anyone specifically, but the concept's interesting. Who did that? He's not famous, but my dad never eats more than he needs to at a buffet. I don't remember where I read it, but there's a rumor Anne Boleyn had access to a tank but chose not to use it. You know who else had a tank? Walt Whitman. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and, and do the fishing rod. 
All right. Let's uncurse the fishing. Chooses me. Chooses this the night. He chooses me. To live a new life above the sea. Choose me. Oh, okay. Nobody sees you, nobody woos. Poor old invisible club You could take it you could make this looser or winner if you were birthed me to someone's dinner. Okay. Nobody knows a trout is sweet, a saucy Mr. Calvin meat. I like to kiss the other trout on the tails or there about. I'll tell you of my most desire to be frished and thrown in the fryer. Legendary tank ace Walt Whitman. T-34 burning amid leaves of grass. <laughs> That's great, samurai. I make mischief, I'm a wretched soul. Chaos is a fisher stick's only goal. Well, almost only. See, I am lonely, and I... Wouldn't lie. Tonight I'd like to die. Buy your hook and then be cooked. What's on over here? Why am I keeping out? Okay. Uh, hear the song. Choose fish sticks. Your mind tingles. The, the rod's curse has caught another fish. The more fish you cap help him catch, the happier he'll be. It's a he? You know this curse is a man. Not in the way the sailors talk about their ships using female pronouns. This is the male curse. This curse is a man. Weird. So, if I... If I... If I, if I bring up the other two, that'll do it? Yeah. Come on. Up we go. Your mind tingles. I caught another fish. Uh, project fishing rod. Am I supposed to catch all three different ones? Maybe. Um. Guess not. Tong 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 Did I Rufus's gadget? Ah, it clicked up to four. Great. Calliope is sleeping on her towel. What is the message? Salutary greet nationing. The person who has activated this telephonic mechanism with whom you are now conversing is known as Don Toblerone. Thought your boss said you had to keep it brief. We devised and then agreed upon an arrangement deemed satisfactory for both parties. You're paying the phone bill. Your guessing prowess is preternaturally efficacious. That's what they tell me. You got another job? Once again, the particulars of this undertakement are being held in escrow and will be transmitted to you orillaciously by our call. Oh, got it, Greasy Steve. Fine. <laughs> She's fidgeting with her gadgets. This place, a reasonably cuspy place. Louder than my usual hangout, but everyone's friendly. I could use your expertise. No, no, I need... I'm, I'm keeping Molly, because Molly's got the... Here, have whiskey. Here, bass oil. I don't think people like it. You're the buzz. Yeah. Uh, where's Molly go? I need to find Molly again. Molly, dancing with surprising vigor. This place is the Weasel's wristwatch. Let's take care of business. You got it. Let me iron my shoelaces. I'll meet you by the door. We're not doing that right now, but... Once I caught them all, there's another option. Let's see. Project. Okay. Let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, there's a bicycle that wasn't here. This is it. Break the cycle. Oh my god. Break the cycle. Oh my god! Ah! Curse got its teeth in that bicycle, it screamed, only for a moment, then silence, limp silence. Insatiable eldritch hunger for fish, once animated, the curse is gone. The rod remains just as a stick in a hook. Another curse kick to the curb. I want my other shoes back.
Alright. Oh, we got Greasy Steve. Bus stop. SIT campus. Map. Fish and chips. Uh, yeah, I need a fuse, buddy. You lie and you open your mouth, the fuse falls out. Why was that in there? No, it's, that's true. There's no ring. What's with the grim look, Steve? Got a serious job. Ain't gonna be easy. Okay. L2, take you far. Maybe right off a cliff. What's the job? There's this vampire. Real mean SOB. One of our... Got one of our capos steamed. Like, really steamed. Is in steam to death. One of those mist vampires. But real hot. And I don't mean hot as in good looking. The fight was in the steam tunnels. We managed to seal a thing up down there when someone's got to take care of it for good. There's a combination. Don't go in there half-cocked. Uh, oh. Bag of spoiled vegetable. Okay. What in the world? Oh! 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 That diving hell! Oh my goodness! I looked right over top of it. Yeah, you're right, Goat's Mare. That is a diving helmet. Uh, let me see what I got. Let's get my muscle up. I need two more muscle. So I know it's here. And then... That's giving me a muscle. Is there something that gives me two muscle? Let's see. Do I have something that gives me two muscle? Uh, that gives me a muscle. Yeah, that's enough. No, it didn't give me enough muscle. I need, I need additional muscle. No. Oh. I'm looking to maximize my... Oh my gosh! I can do that?! Well, okay. Hey, give me that. I got a diving helmet. Cool. Now, let me put everything back the way it was. And we'll do that. And we'll do... What did I have on? Hmm. Yeah, there we go. We'll do that, and then we'll get a ring back on. Um, we're going to put on the bottle cap ring for now, I think. You wish you'd be stronger by putting on a hat? It'd be pretty slick, wouldn't it, man? Yes, yes, yes. Equations. We've done that. We've done lots of equation stuff. Alright, let's go down here. Oh, this was her applied ballistics. Okay, that's right. Do do do. Was there a fence back here? Hello, kitty. I have this boon. That boon gives me muscle. I'll keep this one. Hey, don't be like that. There we go. Yes, we'll paint this fence. Okay. I did put on a ring. Look, 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 I have the bottle cap ring on. Caps the damage I can take. Okay, let's see. Side quests. Well, we're coming up on a quarter till the top of the hour, and I typically like to leave a little bit of space before Doc gets cooking. No, that was not Howl's Cat. That was that was in-game cat. Uh, so, everybody, listen. First of all, thank you for being here today. I appreciate you coming in. There's 44 of you people. Thank you. I did not expect that. Hi, ducks. Ducks just got here. Oh my god. Uh, no. I, well, I won some things, ducks. Um, a fortnight before the bottom of the hour. You're right. So, everybody out there, um, I know I say stuff like this a lot, but first of all, this stream would not be what it is without you guys being here. So, first of all, yeah, I think Doctor Who's going to be up after me. Um, first of all, thank all of you for, for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Even if you're not talking anything in chat, um, oh yeah, Ducks, Mad Ducks does have a YouTube channel that has fun stuff on it. Um, 
you, you should find Mad Duck's YouTube channel. Is it Mad Ducks or Mad... Uh, I can't remember exactly. Um, yeah, I, I know. I know, Coyote. Here's the thing. This stream wouldn't... This, this community, this stream wouldn't be what it is without you, you all being part of it. And I want you all to take care of yourself. Um, here, here. In, instead of me talking about the same thing I always talk about, I'm going to give you a little heads up. I want you to look up something when you get an opportunity that's called alexithymia. It's something that uh, is that's finally being recognized, I, at least in America, for our, for a lot of, um, especially um, young men. People growing up in America, people with alexithymia are unable to process emotions they have uh, because they don't know what they are, and they don't know what to say about them, and they don't know what to do about them. And so here's my encouragement for you to take care of yourself. Learn, learn about that and learn about being able to put a specific name to what you're feeling so that you're able to express it, name it, and tame it, and say, this is this is what I'm feeling and why. And so you're not lost in a sea of, of anger and sadness because you don't know what it is and you don't know what to do about it. So I want for every one of you to, you know, why am I feeling the way I'm feeling? Why is it that I am going through this? Why is it that, you know, where is this coming from? So that you can start feeling better about yourself instead of just... I feel this way and I don't know why. How's a cat's laying on my foot, rubbing her head on my toes because she's trying to be adorable right now. But every one of you, thank you for being here. You take care of yourself. And if you're in a mental health crisis and you're in the U.S. or Canada, call or text 988 to get help. You are worth it. And guys, I will catch you next time.